Morning everyone, I hope you're well. In this video I'm going to tell you all about this tripod which is the Ulanzi and Komen travel tripod. Now if you watch my channel a lot you'll know that I don't do a lot of reviews on equipment and if I do it's only something that I think that I would really like to use myself and that you, my viewers, might benefit as well. So I have been supplied with this tripod in exchange for making this video. Now the first thing to mention, as you can probably see, is this tripod is just ridiculously small and ridiculously light, which is one of the reasons that I was attracted to it in the first place. They do call it a travel tripod for a very good reason. So if I give you the general specs first of all, um, it's carbon fibre, uh, I think the legs will be completely carbon fibre, there's also some aluminium alloy in there as well. The weight is about 1.1 kilos, I actually put it on my bathroom scales and measured it, uh, measured it, weighed it and it was 1.1 kilos so that is just, you, you know, you're not going to find um, a lot of quality tripods that are going to be like a kilo in weight, that's fantastic. Now when it is fully down like that, um, it's about 16 inches. It's actually, it's about fingertip to forearm for me, so that gives you an idea. So really easy, um, not just to carry, but also to pack, to put alongside your camera bag, maybe even in your camera bag. A lot of the time you can kind of attach tripods like this to the side of your camera bag, which is what I've been doing. Very, very simple mechanism here for the legs. Um, really nice and smooth, really quick to get those legs out and put those legs back in. And it doesn't feel flimsy either. You know, sometimes maybe they feel plasticky. Um, the little locking mechanisms, which are really simple, it doesn't feel flimsy. To me, it feels a bit more, I don't know, a bit more sturdy than some other tripods might be. Now, one of the great things as well about this tripod is the number of sections to it. And you might think, why is this important? But I think it is. So what we have here, when I fully um, bring all the legs out on this tripod, it's basically in five sections. So you've got one, two, three, four sections that will come out, and then the top section, we can call that five. Why does that make a difference? The more sections you've got, the smaller the tripod can actually be uh, when all the legs are in and everything's compacted down. The head of this tripod is very low profile. In fact, it's, it's quite minimalistic. That is what word I would use to describe the head and in fact this whole tripod, minimalistic and very streamlined. So on the top, you can attach your camera with a plate, the Arca Swiss style plate, which is often the case with the tripod heads. Really nice and simple, just attach the plate, uh, use the little screw there. Now the actual head itself is quite interesting. So there's a little lever here. If I pull that, then I can move the head. At, at this point, it's more like a, a leveler almost. It's like almost like a leveling base, so you can very quickly get your camera level and then tighten that up. Now, it also kind of acts as a ball head. Now, if you want to make the most of the ball head, then what I would do is just extend the center column a little bit. Oh, wrong one. So I'm going to extend the center column uh, just a touch, not too much. And now we have got like way more flexibility now, like a proper ball head. And the great thing is, if you if you don't have a bracket on your camera and you want to shoot vertically, it means you've got to kind of go over to the side. You can do that with this. You can go all the way over to the side like that, and you can shoot vertically. So I absolutely loved that head. I didn't think it had as much flexibility when I first looked at it, and then I realized that it does just need to extend that center column. There is a spirit bubble as well, so you can check that it's nice and level. And then what you can also do, there's another little screw here at the top. Again, all really, really slim, really streamlined. This just allows you to pan, just for slight adjustments, and you could also use that for doing panoramas. Now, this is where it gets really interesting, and this is one of the things I love about this tripod and that is the centre column. So I've got a centre column here, uh, which isn't absolutely huge, but it's there. It's also got a little hook on the end. You could hang your camera bag if you wanted for more stability. But what we can do is change that centre column to make it a very, very short centre column and then lie the tripod almost completely flat on the ground. So I'm going to show you exactly how you do that now. The first thing we need to do is unscrew this from the bottom of that center column, okay? And you'll find that it's actually a little tool. Now I'm gonna take the center column out just to demonstrate this easier, okay? 
take the center column out and then what you need to do is to find the hole so where is it there we go and hopefully you can see yeah there's a little hole there then what you'll do with your little tool put that in there and then it's a case of unscrewing now it might feel a bit weird at first and nothing's happening but it is it's actually loosening this section here keep unscrewing and eventually this will come out doesn't take long it's just I'm being awkward okay this bit comes off and you're left with this short center column and very very simply just pop that back inside and you've got a short center column head is back on now what about height how high does this tripod go that is quite an important factor I think when you're choosing a tripod now I've got all the legs, all the sections extended now. So this is its maximum height without the center column extended. And for reference, I'm about five foot nine ish. So this is how high it is, which is not ideal. I'd want it higher, but with the center column extended, you can see how much we can get. If we extend the center column up to here, now with my camera on top shooting, that's pretty much at my eye height. So for me, with the center column extended a little bit, I can get it to my eye absolutely fine. It's not gonna be as stable, but you can get that extra height. And just for reference, I've not even fully extended it there. I could go a bit further. If I went as far as, as we could probably go, you can see there, it's pretty high. So you can get this pretty high. This is one of the things with the smaller, lighter, more travel tripods, I think, one of the aspects you'll struggle with is how high it can go because they're trying to keep the weight and the size down. But this one, I think it's a really, uh, I think it's a really good compromise. This is its maximum height without the center column, and with its center column, I can get it to my eye. So I'm pleased enough with that. In terms of the weight that it can handle, now Ulanzi rate the centre column loading to about 18 kilograms and the ball head loading capacity to about five kilograms. So that means this tripod is really ideal for, for landscape and macro work. I wouldn't say it's necessarily that suitable for wildlife and bird photography. Certainly big heavy telephoto lenses I wouldn't try to use on this tripod. Uh, having said that, I do think there's a possibility of some lighter lenses and mirrorless cameras that you may well be able to use this tripod to an extent. Uh, but just work, bear in mind that weight capacity and try not to overload the tripod. So I've been trying this tripod out, testing it out uh, for landscapes, for general outdoor photography and for macro photography as well. And I've been really impressed with how it's performed. Now in terms of the locking mechanisms, they've been really, really good. Uh, always felt really solid, never felt like it was gonna slip. And also in terms of the, the general stability, of the tripod you know it's very light it's very small but it's certainly not unstable i was really impressed with the stability uh, even with my you know heavy dslr on top of there no problems now was there anything i didn't like i really struggled to find much i didn't like about this tripod um, when i first tried these little mechanisms here I just felt oh, maybe these bit flimsy, but no, I don't think they are. I think it's just like, it feels a bit different. It's more kind of like a tension to tighten rather than a, a, a simple click. I think it's just a bit different. I think it's probably a really good design. Um, also, the, the only other thing was the spirit bubble on there. You can't see the spirit bubble when you've got your camera on top, but I don't really know else where you put the spirit bubble. And again, everything is just so streamlined, slimlined so well, that's part of the charm of this tripod. So really you can find very little to complain. I'm really, really impressed. I'm really impressed. The price of this tripod, I think it's about $369 on the website, Dragonfly. Um, which I think is about 300 British pounds. Now, if you look at similar tripods with a similar design and feel, you're probably looking at five or $600. So I think for the functionality you get and the size and the weight, I think $369 is fantastic value for money. I really do. I don't recommend products very often, but this ticks so many boxes. I wholeheartedly recommend this tripod, particularly for landscape macro and for travel as well. Now, if you wanna get yourself one of these tripods, then check the link in the description below. If you buy the tripod through that link, then I can get 10% commission on that sale. And also check in the description, you should be able to get 10% discount yourself, get 10% off if you buy one of these tripods. 
If you've any more questions about how I got on uh, with this, then put it in the comments box. If it's more detailed descriptions and specs, then check out the Alanzi website. There's an excellent video there as well, where I think they did a really good job of showing all the functionality of this product. If you're not subscribed, do click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.